page 15. The main doctrinal points had been discovered by the groups that studied in the summer meeting in 1848. Until then, very little had been done in the branch of publication. But now that the Adventists were in possession of a well-defined body of essential truths, which they knew as the third angel, it was appropriated to take the specific steps to proclaim this message to the world. A little after this meeting took place in November 1848. This is why it received a view of the proclamation of the sealing message and of the duty of the brethren to publish the light that was shining upon our pathway. So was also instructions given directly by God how to distribute the message. So the foundation of the publishing department in the church is given by God. God decided that this is the way how the message needs to be given to the world, beside all the other options that we have. After many difficulties, finally, the first issue of the present truth appeared, printed in Connecticut in July 1849. That was the first issue in July 1849. It was mostly sent to the old believers in the Second Advent. Soon after the sending out of the first number, we received letters bringing means with which to continue publish, publishing the paper, and also the good news of many souls embracing the truth. So the foundation of the Advent message was given in the publishing world. So the distance were very big, the difficulties of transportation were also very big, so the Lord decided that a magazine need to be printed and sent to all the believers in the second advent. And immediately money came. They sent letters with help for paying this first issue and also other issues that will come and even new members came to the life that the Lord was giving. Now, at the meeting held in Maine in November 1850, the journal was extended and its name changed. So the first magazine was present truth. But in 1850, received a new name, this magazine. And the magazine was Second Advent and Sabbath Herald. That was the name that took present truth. So the present truth was only 1849 to 1850, and in 1850 came another magazine, changed the name, and that was Second Advent and Sabbath Herald. The purpose of changing the name was with a specific idea. The present truth was a general concept, and it's, it's a good title. But they wanted that the magazine explain to the people, even in the title, the main principles of faith that they defended. So we find Second Advent, so Jesus came in the second time, and the Sabbath, so this main two principles they wanted to emphasize that when the people see the magazine knew that belief in the second advent Jesus will come again the second time and the Sabbath as a foundation that was the reason of changing of the name and they was published by a commission formed by Edson, Rhodes, Arnold and White so that was a commission built in order to uh, organize and to set up the magazine. The main articles were published again in September in an issue of 48 pages. So that was uh, a lot of information inside of this magazine. 48 pages was the first uh, issue in September. 
The fifth and the last issue of this series appear in November of the same year because they will change again the name. It's interesting to see that uh, the way how the message was given and transferred through the publication is parallel with the process of the organization of the church at the same time. Because we see in this time was not formal organization. Not even an official name was given to the church. And now we see here that slowly, slowly, step by step, this name given here and the further publications that will came establish the principles of the organization and also the final name that the church will have and the structure of the denomination as such. Now, let us consider how the conflict of ages series came as we know today. That was only a general overview how began, began the process. So, we stopped here in 1850 with the change of the name of the magazine. And now in summer 1851, a first pamphlet. So we have until here letters and magazines. Now we go to a third step. And then we have pamphlets. And that was 64 pages, 64 pages pamphlet because the magazine uh, Second Advent and Sabbath Herald was 48 pages. Now we have something bigger, 64 pages, and was no more a magazine, was a pamphlet with the title, A Sketch of the Christian Experience and Views of Ellen G. White. And that was published in summer 1851. And this was the first book that we can give this name because of the number of pages. This was her first book that contained not only the articles that had previously appeared in the magazine, but also a few chapters about other subjects that had been revealed but had not been previously published. So we see here now how the process began. So from 1850, we go to 1851 and appear the first pamphlet. And this is very interesting because we see that that was in reality the first compilation. Was the first compilation because the visions were given, send it in letters to people, these people reproduce it, send it to other people. But then, but then, but then a magazine appeared. In this magazine appeared these first visions. Then the same magazine was enlarged and become another magazine. So this is, don't think that present truth remained in a second magazine was not. This was substitute but the second one. So present truth ceased completely the existence and then was substitute by this second advent and Sabbath herald. Now, all the articles that appear here and even more information that was not published until now, but she received as messages from the Lord appear in 1851 in the form of a pamphlet. And we can say that that was her first book. So we see how the process went until a book become from an oral communication or a heavenly vision to a oral communication to others in written form, in magazine form, and then in a little booklet. But that was not all. To these 64 pages was added in 1854, 40 page supplement with the title Experience and Views, which included many later revelations, was published to this. So then we have two pamphlets. So we have this pamphlet from 1851, 
And then we have the other plan pamphlet from 1858, uh, 54, excuse me. 1854 we have the first, and now here we have the second plan pamphlet. And then they took the two pamphlets together. And in 1882, the two pamphlets were reprinted together and was the two first parts of early writings. So we see here one example how the things develop until the two first sections that we have early writings. So, oral message, transfer to humans, letters, articles, pamphlets, and book. All this process until this came to us. So what this mean? Why is it important to know how all the process was until we receive it? What do you think? Help me with this, please. Why do you think that this was so important, to know all this process? To, to be able to know when she first wrote something, because if they put in a population of the book, you need to know in what order it first began, and so you know the development of what she was writing in. Correct. Some other explanation? So if somebody asks you, who, no, which was the first book printed? Which is the answer? Okay, I repeat the question. Somebody asks you, which was the first book printed with the name LNG White? Early, early, early writing. The first book? Book? Present yes. Truth? Present Truth was a book? A sketch early of the question writing. experience. Experience and views. Or that's not a book, that's just, that's just a supplement. The answer is was never a first book as such. Become a first book. But never was written a first book in such a way that the people, when you say, okay, I have read a wrote a book. The people think you sit, first chapter, second chapter, third chapter, so you have write down a book. This is a book. So the first book was not a book as such. As we understand what is a book today. Okay? So that was a compilation of visions put it together in a period of time from 1844 until was given until 1854. So all this period of time was an evolution of this information. And this become a book, the compilation of the visions that become letters. And the letters become articles. And the articles become pamphlets. And then the pamphlets compose a book. This is extremely important to understand because this will help you a lot to understand many things that are in the books of Sister White that people are confused and say, how is possible that Sister White wrote such things? Yeah, she don't wrote this in a book. That was not a book. When the people take Advent home, they say Sister White wrote this book. That was not a book. We need to understand this. And we cannot consider the book as a book, but we need to consider pieces by pieces, because Advent Home was never a book, become a book. So we need to go to the articles that 
made possible to do this book in order to understand the book because that was not a book as such. And this will help us very much to give answer to many points that the people say, but here is a contradiction. Sister White says we need to celebrate Christmas. We need to have the tree of Christmas. Because you find this. You cannot say this is not there. You open Advent Home and you see the article and it's there. To have the Christmas tree, then you say, no, that is not true. Yeah, you cannot say it's not true. That is there. You cannot deny it. But you need to be able to give the explanation. And that was never, ever a book. That was an article, and you need to have the completely article. When you read the article, then you see, well, it has nothing to do with this. What become? Exactly the same when you go, for example, the letter of Basilea. When you go to Select Messages, Volume 2, you see one section that say that Sister Y say we need to go to vote. Sure. That the Adventist says therefore we go to vote. And they show you here in the book, Sister White, in this book, God, we have to go to vote. Why you don't vote? And then what you say? This was an article. That was never a book. So it's very deceiving to come to the conclusion that this is a book. This become a book. And therefore, every element needs to be considered as was original. And then when you take the article about the quotations and you read it, you will see that it has absolutely nothing to do with political quotation. The case was about temperance to eliminate alcoholic beverages. And then Sister Y say, if we need to vote for this, yes, we need to say no. Prohibition, completely. No more alcoholic beverages. And in this case, it's correct to go and say, my part is I am against alcoholic beverages. This is correct. It's not a political votation. But when you read as in the book, and then the people say, Sister White wrote in this book, this, this, uh, co this assessment is incorrect because Sister White don't wrote this in this book. That was an article in a specific time and we need to see the article and the content of the article and came to the right conclusion. Therefore, it's extremely important to know all the process to came to the right conclusion and not to be deceived by wrong ways that Sister White says. You find also that say, yeah, sister, how you say not, we are not with me. And she was a uh, chicken, chicken soup. And she said that was very good. And the people say, oh, that was so? How is possible? Sister White was also uh, eating chicken soup. And then the people are confused. They don't know what to believe. They don't know more what to do. Yeah. Because thus, we need to consider section by section. And we will avoid a lot of problems and difficulties. So we have here the origin of the conflict of ages. Now, what happened with this compilation of these two pamphlets? from 1851 and 1854. So in September 1858, it was announced that the work was ready to be distributed in its 219 pages. So the main points of the history of the controversy between Christ and Satan was briefly touched. The first work, Spiritual Gifts, Volume 1, is available to all and constitute the third session of the work entitled early writings. So what happened here when we have early writings in our hands? So early, early writings become early writings, the first section with the combination of these two pamphlets. But now was added a third section because the first section 
was the pamphlet from 1851. The second section was the second pamphlet from 1854. And now, in 1858, we are added and the third section in the early writings that become the spiritual gift, volume one. and was printed as such. And the first sentence of this little book declares, the Lord showed me that Satan was announced an honored angel in heaven. The words I saw, <coughs> excuse me, of the equivalent appears in these pages at an average of once <coughs> in every page, and sometimes even more. In concise and general declaration, she exposes important periods of history, <coughs> revealing the origin of the invisible antagonist powers of God and evil. So we see here how the book early writings change, because the first two sections were only about the visions and unpublished revelations that she received in, in 1851, the first pamphlet, in 1854, the second pamphlet, and now, in 1858, where these general visions that spoke about the history of the controversy between Christ and Satan in a briefly form. And this became the third section of early writings. Now, in the following years, also after 1858, she received even greater panoramic visions. Do you remember what was panoramic visions? Historical periods of time, okay? And then presented more complete and details the different phases of the conflict between God and Satan. So, in 1864, in 1864, volumes, that was, uh, the second was appearing even before this, so the third and the fourth, which deal in a broader way with the issue of the fall of Lucifer, creation, the fall of men, the life of the patriarchs, and the experience of the people of Israel appeared, because the second volume was in 1860. Yeah. So, the first volume, 1858. The second volume, a Spiritual Gifts, second, in 1860. And the third and the fourth, in 1864. So, we see here how the visions become panoramic and cover extended periods of time. Now, what we see here, that from the first volume of, Spirit of uh, um, Spiritual Gifts until the fourth volume, from 1858 to 1864, she received what we can declare the origin of the series, the Great Conflict, because present these great panoramics. And from this, we will see how patriarchs and prophets, prophets and kings, and great controversy and for their own came. So, now. <coughs> All these volumes were little volumes with uh, 80 pages, 120, 240 pages now. They were all scattered. So we have the early writings based on the pamphlets and part of the spiritual gifts and then the volume separated. 
Now, they decided to put together these volumes. So in 1870 appeared the first volume that included the conflict in heaven, the fall of Lucifer, and the creation until the days of Solomon. So they put all this section, all these four volumes that appeared first in 1858 and until 1864, they put all this together and 1870, they created a compilation of these different volumes that included from <coughs> Paul of Lucifer until Solomon. And then appeared volume two and three from also 1877, we find again a second volume and in 1878 a third volume but we have here in the past also a first a second a third and a fourth but these were restructurated in the content and enlarged in the content and then these other ones, the second and the third, was related with the life of Christ until the apostles, plus the apostles. What after become desire of ages and act of the apostles also. <coughs> Other chapters were written to be part of the fourth volume, what was not fi finished until 1882. So the fourth volume came in 1882. So we see here that during this period of time, from 1858 until 1882, she received a lot of panoramic visions. But not only this, she received also personal uh, visions that related in letters and other information that she presented also in articles. That was parallel at the same time. <coughs> now, this fourth volume, if you remember, the third volume was until the apostles. So the fourth volume had the purpose, Sister White, to give the to give the title, The Acts of the Apostle. And in volume three, uh, she received a vision, a night vision, and we can categorize this as a dream, related with this uh, project. And then appeared the first time the idea of a series about the great controversy. And then it was revealed to her that she had to present a summary of the controversy between Christ and Satan as it developed in the first centuries of the Christian era and in the great reformation of the 16th century so that the mind of the reader will be prepared to clearly understand the conflict that takes place in our day. So, because the last section of volume three was related with the act of the apostle. In a night dream, in a night vision, she re received the command of the Lord that this fourth volume needed to include the first centuries of the Christianity until the great reformation of the 16th century. So was giving to her exactly the period of time that needed to be included in this fourth volume. So that was Christianity until Reformation. Another specific uh, panoramical vision related to this. So we see in this case that this will be part of what 
have that become the great controversy. That is the first section of the great controversy, which is the first chapter of great controversy, which is the subject. <coughs> Do you remember? The destruction of Jerusalem. Yes. This is the beginning. Which year this happened? 70 AD. Yes. So this is the first chapter of the great controversy. And the fourth volume of the spiritual gifts will cover from the first centuries of Christianity until the reformation of the 16th uh, century. So let us um, close for today here and we will continue. Tomorrow will be not class for the spirit, uh, spirit of prophecy. We will have Daniel and Revelation all the, all the morning. So we will see each other again for class on Monday with the help of the Lord. And Tuesday, we will have done the test. But I repeat that this section that we began now is not included in the test for Thursday. So we will go on with the help of the Lord Monday about how all this developed. But this is extremely important to understand in order to know how the books appear. And this will help us to answer questions that maybe give the impression or some contradiction or some disharmony among the message. This will help us and we will consider also different examples in detail. So may the Lord help us to grow in the faith of the spirit of prophecy and also in the confirmation of the truth given to us. Amen. 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 So let us... We have voluntary prayer.